Hello again. I want to talk this morning about things which everybody in Britain knows, but about which, by common consent, we must never speak loud. This is a very odd state of affairs in a liberal democracy such as ours, that some facts should be so taboo that we are wholly unable to speak about them publicly. Here is a fact which every single adult in the country knows. New research by academics at the University of Oxford indicate that Britain has more illegal immigrants than any other country in Europe. France has around 300,000, we have 750,000, more than twice as many. Why should this be the case? There is no mystery about why this should be, but it's considered a bit off to mention it in polite society. It is simple. When we see illegal immigrants heading towards our country, we greet them with open arms as though they are long-lost brothers and send out boats to bring them here at once. We then usher them to hotels and provide them with free food and heating, medical treatment and so on, and generally make it clear to them that they can stay and live in comfort at our expense for as long as they please. France does not do this. That is why the illegal immigrants in France tend to pass through that country and congregate on the shores of the English Channel, waiting for an opportunity to come here. I know this and so does every single person watching this video. But we are not supposed to say it out loud for fear of being called racists or fascists. Now for an associated question. The idea which is being widely propagated that in case any case we need all those immigrants to look after what is described as our ageing population. This is a plain and demonstrable lie. Round the corner from me are two old people's homes. In the morning when I go to buy my newspaper, I meet a stream of foreigners from Africa and Asia heading in the opposite direction from Debden Tube Station towards the old people's homes. They're speaking Ibu, Ibo and Seleti, for example, these are recent immigrants who are working as carers in the old people's homes. This is why we need immigration, right? The only problem is that in Debden and Loughton are an awful lot of unemployed English people on benefits for various reasons, either because they cannot find a job or do not want one, or because they're on sickness benefit. They are some of the 11 million people of working age in this country who are not actually working. Uh, the polite expression for this is to say that they are economically inactive. A quarter of the working age people in Britain have no jobs. 11 million of them. This includes 2.5 million young people under the age of 25 and countless millions on sickness benefit. Again, this is something we are not supposed to say out loud, but there is actually nothing stopping many of those people from getting jobs. They don't actually want to work in care homes, though. It's easier and more profitable to remain on benefits. We all know about the fiddles for sickness benefit, people pretending to be mentally ill or alcoholics or anything that they can't read and write. I could write a book about this based on what I've personally witnessed in my work over the years with what I know now as the disadvantaged. If we could get just 10% of those people to take jobs in care homes, say, then that is the ageing population problem dealt with, and the need for that excuse for immigration brought to an abrupt end. The curious thing is, as I say, that we are all of us aware of these things, but none of us dares to talk of them openly. In the description to this video I give as usual a couple of links uh, where people can find out more about what I've been talking about.